everyone welcome back to my channel today i have a new review first impressions wear test for you guys today i will be talking about the hourglass veil hydrating skin tint so i have it right here i got this yesterday from sephora i have the shade 11 which is medium tan golden tones or something like that i will definitely link it down in the description this is supposed to be a hydrating skin tint pretty much um, it's supposed to offer light coverage, radiant, dewy, make you feel hydrated throughout the day. So this is right up my alley. Number one, I love skin tints. And number two, I do have normal to dry skin. So generally speaking, hydrating tints, foundations, all that good stuff, they work pretty well on me. I never really have any issues just because of my skin. It, it tends to need a lot of hydration anyway. So yeah, I'm super excited to try this. I do generally really enjoy Hourglass products. This product doesn't have any claims that it's like smoothing or pore blurring or anything like that. It really just, the claims kind of tend to focus around it's gonna make you feel hydrated, dewy, nourished, all that good stuff. Um, light coverage, but there's no mention of blurring or anything like that so i did go ahead and put primer i actually put primer right here um and on my nose now it is what nine o'clock in the morning i have a full day today i have clients i have um, a family event later on i'm it may be outside i'm not sure but it's gonna be a long day for me and it's gonna be a hot day as soon as i walk out the door so i'm excited to see how this holds up on me um as always, I'll, you know, I'll definitely get back to you and let you know what my overall thoughts are at the end of the day. Remember, this is a first impression, so I usually tend to have a good sense if I'm going to continue using a product or not. So, yeah. All right, let's just go ahead and try this. So, super cute packaging. Um, very small. It's not anything too big. Um, it does have a little seal here. So, you guys know it's, you know, it hasn't been used, brand new. All right, let's go ahead and take that off. So with this skin tint, I think I'm gonna do one side with a brush, see what kind of coverage we get. And then um, based on the coverage level, I'll see if I do the other side with a sponge. You guys know with a sponge, you always tend to get a little bit more sheer coverage. You tend to get fuller coverage with a brush. So we're gonna give this a try just because this does offer light coverage. So, and I do have a full day, I'm gonna see a lot of people, so I kinda want maybe like light medium. I don't know if I'll get medium coverage, but we'll see how this goes. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just grab that much. I don't know how, you know, how much is needed, but let's just go ahead and start with that. And, um, I'm gonna go see the Barbie movie tomorrow, so I'm super excited. So in honor of the Barbie movie, I did wanna whip out my ColourPop Barbie mirror. Have you guys seen the Barbie movie? Are you, did you guys like it? Let me know. All right, so let's go ahead and just apply this on my right with a brush. So let's go into it. Okay, right off the bat, this is a great match. You guys know I like to dot my foundation on first and then I like to go in with my tool. Okay, so that's that. Pretty good shade match, I would say. Okay, let's go ahead with this brush. This is just a foundation stippling brush. This is from Morphe. It's kind of old. This is from like their gunmetal collection. Okay, let's just go ahead and start blending. I don't even have any color corrector or anything, so we're just applying this right over everything. This is blending pretty easy, pretty flawless, no effort. All right. 
Okay, so no foundation. I mean, sorry, no skin tint and then the skin tint. What do you guys think? I think it's very pretty. It's a really great shade match. I mean, compared to the side where I don't have any makeup, it definitely looks very even, very hydrated, very dewy looking. That plump skin effect, very nice. I love it. Okay, let's go ahead and do the other side. Um, as far as coverage, I think this definitely offers with the brush here and the amount that I used, I think it definitely offered light border, border medium, not even, not even really medium. But I would say it's just a step up more than just like light. I mean, I do feel like it covered a bit um, with, with the brush. Um, now, because I have a little bit of um, leftover hyperpigmentation from breakouts, I still want more coverage than than just like light so I, I think i am going to go ahead and just continue to use a brush on this side just because i, I want to see how it covers all of this because on this side i really don't have um hyperpigmentation so i mean it already my skin was already clear so i mean there's not a whole lot to compare it to um but yeah we'll see how it applies on the side that i have more stuff to cover Okay. I can't get over the shade match. It is such a good shade match, you guys. I feel like I could also kind of blend this out with my fingers, honestly. It feels incredibly hydrating, very lightweight. So I really feel like if I wanted to, I could definitely blend out with my fingers as well. Okay, let's see. And I do have a little bit of a dark spot right here. Um, let me see if I can apply a little bit more. Right, right there. Okay, so this is the coverage, you guys, on my hyperpigmentation. I mean, obviously, it's, it, it's not going to cover it 1,000%, but... I did cover it some. If I really wanted to, I can go in and spot conceal. Um, I think I'm all right. Um, I'm not going to be too picky about that. But let me just see if this can cover up just a bit more, just like a little spot coverage. Okay, so I'm going to let that sit, get dried down a little bit before I blend it out. But in the meantime, um, yeah, I'm liking everything, you guys. Very nice. It feels incredibly hydrating, I'll say that. I mean, my skin definitely looks dewy. It looks plump. Definitely my skin, but better vibes. I really enjoy it. All right, let's see if this blends out a little bit more. Or, I'm sorry, let's see if this gives a little bit more coverage. It seems to be buildable and layer very nicely. Okay, so that is what we're working with. I'm not gonna go ahead and add more. I think that's as good as it's gonna get as far as coverage. But yeah. I like everything. Very, very pretty. Really nice. 
Okay, well, all that's left to do is just really finish up the rest of my makeup. So I'm gonna do some color corrector. I'm gonna use the Hourglass Concealer. Uh, the only part of my face I'm gonna set is my under eye. I'm gonna use the Givenchy powder. And that's about it. So I will be right back. Guys, this is my finished look for today. So um, I used my Hourglass Concealer. I set that with the Givenchy powder. For blush, I was feeling very pink, very in a Barbie mood. So I went ahead and I used the Patrick Ta Cream Blushes. Um, I think I used two of the more bright poppy shades in his palette. Um, so I used that. A highlight is the Rare Beauty um, Highlight in Exhilarate, I think. Um, for cream bronzer, I use a ColourPop bronze sticks. So everything blended over the hydrating skin tint flawlessly, like no issues, no skipping. Everything went on um, perfect. Okay, so I'm not gonna set this with setting spray or anything. I'm just gonna let it be. I'm just gonna ride it out all day. Again, I have a super packed day, seeing a lot of people, being out and about. Um, so I'll definitely let you guys know how this held up but overall you guys like i'm i'm really loving everything it looks super pretty i think you know what when i was kind of looking through my stash something that kind of reminded me of this product that i've used before is and i'm, I'm sorry it's kind of like dirty um <laughs> is this wet and wild hydrator i think it's called tinted hydrator yeah this product, I've never, I don't think I've ever shown it, I've ever talked about it, um, but this is a few years old, it's from Wet n Wild, it has a, it has hyaluronic acid, squalene, non-greasy, sheer to medium, it's basically a skin tint, um, but they call it a tinted hydrator, but oh my god you guys, this is a phenomenal dewy skin tint that actually delivers coverage um, it's not full coverage, it's not light, it's literally like, if you just apply one, like a little bit, it's light to medium. If you want to build on it, which you totally can, you can get to a very, very low level of medium. Heck, maybe even medium if you continue to build it up. This is like, I don't know, maybe seven dollars. Um, I love this product so much, it definitely reminded me of the and look even like the size even like the size is very similar the the uh when involved one is 0.91 ounces and then the hourglass is 1.1 ounces but honestly you guys this is a i didn't actually talk about the price so this is 49 dollars 50 dollars 50 dollars for a skin tint um but then again hourglass is a luxury brand it's a high-end brand so i don't think we expected anything less than 40 honestly even if it's just for a skin tint not a full flesh foundation but you guys if you guys want to save and still get a really beautiful tinted hydrating vegan uh skin tint I would highly suggest this one and wild one you guys and you know when and wild this one is vegan it's cruelty free i believe this one is vegan and cruelty free as well actually hourglass i think all their products are vegan and cruelty free so you guys maybe i should do a comparison i don't know let me know if you guys want to see that but and then one more thing i wanted to touch on um you know i'm i'm loving everything i think it looks beautiful um, I will say, I as far as uh, tinted, uh, excuse me, as far as skin tints, uh, the one that I have been loving, it's literally at the top of my list. I've been grabbing almost every day when I do wear something. Is the Danessa Myricks Serum Skin Tint. Um, this one looks beautiful. I'm very impressed. But honestly, the Danessa Myricks impressed me more. Um, I don't know what it is. I mean, you know, and I was actually looking on Sephora, the comparisons. They're literally like the same claims. Danessa hydrating, hourglass hydrating, light coverage here, light coverage here, vegan, vegan, cruelty-free, cruelty-free. Um, 
the Danessa one seems to have uh, collagen and a few more like skin loving ingredients. I didn't quite see that for the hourglass as far as like skincare infused, you know, tinted product. Um, the hourglass has 18 shades, I believe. Danessa has 16 shades. Danessa's shades are flexible, so you're almost like guaranteed to find something for you. I'm not too sure about um, hourglass shades. I mean, I got lucky and I got a good shade, but um, you know, Danessa's are flexible. I'm sure that hourglass ones maybe too, but I just want to throw that out there. Um, the Danessa is $36. $36, like $49. That is about a, what, $11, $12 difference. Um, and if I were to, if you were to ask me which out of those do you prefer, I'd go, I'd go with the Danessa. I just, the, it impressed me a little bit more. I felt like my skin looked radiant. It looked plump. This one, I feel like my skin looks plump and healthy, but I feel like it's lacking the radiance um, that the Danessa one gave me. Um, I just felt like my skin looks so yummy <laughs> with the yummy skin tint. And this one, I love it. it. It does make me look dewy. It does make me look plump. But there's just something about the Danessa Radiance that I got that I didn't quite get it with this Hourglass one. So <clears throat> I just want to mention those quick little thoughts and comparisons in my head. But I'll definitely get back to you tonight and I'll let you know what my final thoughts are. Hey everyone, so it is now... 10 13 at night i first put on this full face of makeup at about 9 9 30 so i've definitely had it on for pretty much a full day's wear so these are my final thoughts so overall i'm just gonna say right now i do enjoy the skin tint i think it has held up really nicely i feel like my skin looks very it still looks very glowy very dewy um the primer that i use in my pores to kind of help a little bit of the blurring and the oil control as you can see like didn't do too much but that's because i think the skin tint i mean it is a hydrating formula and the primer i used wasn't necessarily mattifying it was just like it you know it was the um the elf putty so it just kind of helped smooth my pores but i mean it looks like oil still kind of broke through a bit but that's okay um again i do have normal to dry skin every now and then i do get a very oily t-zone um so that's what's happened i have not touched up all day um what i do like about the skin tint that i'm noticing is that it has not settled into my fine lines like not at all it's one of those formulas that are flexible and kind of move with your facial movements so nothing actually has settled in in those fine lines which is nice i like that um the only creasing that i really have is under my eyes and that's really because i used a new like brightening banana powder over my regular setting powder and sometimes sometimes things don't don't really mix and i guess that's what happened here so i do have some major creasing there like that's really bad but it's not the concealer you guys it's probably just the set the extra brightening powder that i used but back to the skin tint i do like it but honestly will i continue to pick it over my Danessa Myricks serum skin tint I don't think so there's something about the Danessa Myricks that I kept thinking all day like okay I like this hourglass but the Danessa gave me like a radiance and honestly I think there are certain ingredients in that Danessa Myricks one that kind of helped with oil control um but it still allowed it to be hydrating and dewy and glowy and radiant but still, I don't know, something about it, you guys. But um, if you want to try the Hourglass Skin Tint, I say go for it. I, I don't think you'd be disappointed. Um, if you have oily skin, I think you can still get away with wearing it. Just please make sure you prep your skin because it is very dewy and hydrating. So 
make sure you use your mattifying primers and toners and moisturizers and all that to really give it a fighting chance at longevity um, but I like it on my skin um, I do think there are other things that I've tried and I already have in my sash that I would reach for more than this one again this skin tint is $50 so yeah I'm just gonna leave you with that do I think it's worth the price point i'm not too sure because again i have other things that are less that i would choose over it so that's all i'm gonna say for that you guys make your own decision i don't like to talk mess about products and say oh it's like the worst thing don't bother i i don't like doing that i like to give you guys my take on how it worked for me um and i still think you guys should make your own opinion go ahead and try it like if you guys really want to try it try it go to sephora get shade match try it if you really don't like it they have a great return policy you guys you don't have to be stuck with something you don't like um exchange it for something else um so you're fine so anyways thank you guys all so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye